I'm Ariana Escalante. We're here in Los Angeles, California, and we're about to experience the global premiere of Broken Memories. I'm gonna take it all the way when I hear the music play. Cause baby, I can't help myself. Welcome to Broken Memories. I'm here to do my thing. Who knows what tomorrow brings? I'm never gonna kiss and tell. I just wanna have fun. Tonight we are celebrating a benefit screening of Broken Memories for Alzheimer's Greater Los Angeles, the only local nonprofit focused on Alzheimer's and dementia. I'd love to give a huge thank you to our sponsors for tonight. Ruth's Chris Steakhouse, Right at Home, Imperial Care Center, Essentia Water, Whole Foods Market, and Kona Brewing Company. Thank you so much. Now there is a thing that happens to actors sometimes. And honest to God, we would be driving down the road and he would stop one of the neighbors and say, hey, <laughs> guess what this feller wants to be? He always called me a feller. Guess what this feller wants to be when he's grown up? He wants to be a movie star. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> I know we're here tonight to celebrate Rance Howard, who did a phenomenal job in tonight's film. What is it like to, to celebrate a 65-year career for Rance? He's just done so many different character roles, and, 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 and I think I think it's probably the greatest role of his career. This is something that has touched our family in very personal ways. Not only is it moving, but it, it, it's also a kind of a, I think it's a kind of a gift to people. It's one of those movies that, um, you know, it celebrates life in a way that's not corny, not sentimental, but very truthful and honest and, yes, noble. And uh, so that's a real virtue. He's someone who, he came from Oklahoma and he wanted to be an actor when he was 17 years old and he came out here and he did it and he changed the course of our family, honestly. Here's to, to people following their dreams, making it happen, working very, very hard, having humility and building a life that they're proud of. And I'm so proud of my granddad. You know, you're having a guess, what is it like to forget so much? My grandmother is, you know, 95, but she goes through that all the time. She'll wake up each morning and, and meet you again. And what does it mean to, to be able to partner with Alzheimer's Greater Los Angeles for this? It's wonderful. They have done such a magnificent job of raising awareness. I read Broken Memories and I was like, wow, this is the one that needs to be told. To be able to watch Rance Howard in real life and his love story, this just the sweetest relationship with his wife. And um, so in the film, since I was portraying part of that, you know, and kind of the memory that he had of that, it was really an amazing experience to watch it in real life. What was particularly meaningful is that Judy, my grandfather's wife, passed away in February from Alzheimer's and she was there with him every single day while they were shooting it. Literally right next to him, right next to the camera. So it's it's you know this is this is an emotional film but it's also a cathartic and, and healing film in, in many ways. Uh, hopefully we made a movie that really brought light and love and, and, and brought a different perspective on, yeah. on how families and caregiving um, actually can happen. Yeah. There's five million people in the United States that have Alzheimer's that, that I think this is meaningful. I just hope that they get a chance to watch this movie, Broken Memories, and, and you know, to, it, that it touches them and it makes them want to donate to Alzheimer's Greater Los Angeles.